Let's support. Develop the knight. Shall we get the bishop out? Tack in the knight. And take the knight off the board. Okay, so they're taken. I'm going to grab the pawn. Take the bishop. Queen's coming here for a 2 on 1. Yep. Support for a brief moment. Pawn's going to hit the knight. Let's take the pawn. Takes with a check on the king. And x ray through to their king. And excellent. Alright, so we've got a highly developed knight, but nothing happening at the moment. It is attacking us. Hmm. And through there they've got the pawn. Hmm. Good shot. Good shot. Can't go there, the knight takes. <laughs> a knight for a knight. Attack he takes, takes, and then he gets the pawn. Then we get his pawn from the rook. Maybe. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So we're up a pawn at the minute. So it's going to be a take fest. Oh, it's not gone for a take fest. Yeah, because we were going to get that pawn, weren't we? Now, that does give us a bit of tempo, doesn't it? Or not. Take. Opens up the pawn in front of his king. Oh no. Strategies. So we could come and support the pawn. Oh, do you know? There's a nice position, isn't there? The knight can put a check on the king. Put a check on the king. It looks interesting, there's nothing major there, because this pawn can just take this bishop off the board, so I've kind of done myself in a bit. Uh, so if we move the bishop back, can we take, can take, no. Ooh, very funky position we've got going on here. I think we just bring the bishop back. And if the rook takes, then it's the... Oh, he does take as well. So we'll up, up the exchange, which weirdly somehow has occurred. Just need to block this diagonal. Plus three out of that. That's amazing. Okay, let's just come here and see if we can get that rook off the board. So we're going to exchange down the rook. No, we're going to attempt. Oh, he has done. So let's take... Alright, so they're playing quick, so it looks like I'm going to be losing on time here. Just take this attack. Just take focus. He's coming for a pawn. I've got choice options of two pawns, so I suppose I can push up. Let's take. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, they're going on the white square again. Let's go here. Push. Before we do any of that, <laughs> the king. Let's capture. You see how they're trying to give us problems. Just they're just attacking and then attacking. But just looking at my back end, just covering things off, I'm not rushing anything. Just trying to get a nice position, and just keep pushing. 
and key players on a dark square the rook Just push the pawn up now. The rook's blocking the king. Just keep going here. It's offered a draw. I'm not too sure if it's a drawish type situation, really. I'll. Okay, they've, they've resigned it. That was an interesting game, using the answer process, blocking, working the pieces together, trying to find safe squares for the pieces. Yeah, on the whole that wasn't too bad, but because I think it wasn't too bad, that means I need to go in and have a look at the analysis and see what the computer thinks of it all. Let's just push through. Capture, captured. I'm really looking at that exchange position because I, whether we got lucky or not, I just want to just check. So we came through, so it's minus 1.5, that's okay, I can live with that, just capture 1.1, yeah that's okay, I can live with that. Ooh, minus 6, look at this, this was the bit I was wanting to have a look at. <laughs> yes, was concerned, thought, oh, this is not going to work well, is it? Wow. So it's saying knight b4. So it's basically saying I should have moved the knight. And because realistically, if he does take the pawn, then we're going to get the pawn back anyway. Because the bishop has to move wherever. If it goes back to there, then we're going to get the pawn anyway here. So that's, that makes sense, yeah, but it does not like that, oh, yeah, so I was thinking, right, fair enough, then if we come out here, if they take, and this is actually saying it takes, then I was going to take, and then if they took, then I was going to come across here but that gives us the benefit so that's why that looked good for me because that pattern looked right but this is saying something's not quite right is it? Bishop is it Bishop? Bishop takes c6 yeah which is oops which is that and then this is saying rook e1. Hmm. But we said we'd do this, so it's still minus 6.5. G takes, so if G takes, then that gets rid of that. And then we've lost the bishop. Yeah, so we're down the piece. So that's where the move order was done wrong by the opponent. Thankfully. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Knew something didn't feel right. And I panicked really for nothing. I panicked for nothing. I thought, oh, they've got the bit, they've got the pawn through on here. But I, re I panicked for nothing. I didn't need to panic. All I need to do was do this. If they are going to take, bring the rook across, like we said. It's the smallest of details getting carried away with the position on the board. So captured, captured, and the opponent didn't take the advantage, so ooh, we ended up being plus two. So we captured the knight, obviously it didn't like that move. Uh, knight e7 check. Yeah, we were thinking about doing that, but then where was the follow-on? Anyway, we didn't do that, we captured. 
thought we were going to open up space in front of the king, but they shocked us with the rook. So we moved the bishop back, captured. So we are up the exchange out of that, so it's now plus six. So I don't need to look any further now, but um, yeah, that's fine. It's basically not over-egging the pudding and overestimating the position on the board for the opponent. Yeah. Pleased with that. It's a nice lesson learned.